Okay, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a cheap Jin Hao pen that cost about £2, £3, and add in a nice, also cheap, uh, Nico G, uh, or you can use a Zebra G nib so that you'll get a really nice flex pen. Let me just try this, make sure it's working. So that you can take this cheap pen. Just show you how it flexes. This is the gin, and I'm going to check how to spell it to make sure I don't screw it up. Gin how, and it does a nice little flexy number. Since it now has a nice zebra G nib, so. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so let's turn a cheap couple of pound Jinhao pen into a more awesome pen. So here's the bog standard Jinhao pen that you get. And it writes okay. We'll put the name and I will check the spelling because I always get it wrong. Jinhao. But there's almost no flex in the nib at all. So we're going to fix that. What we're going to do is replace the nib with one of these. This is a Zebra G nib, which is a lot more flexible. Now these are about a pound each. I bought a box or a pack. There's about ten in it. They're about a pound each. So the only thing that we absolutely need to know is or the, the one thing that is a definite is this must be the same as this. Don't try and squash a zebra G into a pen where the nib is smaller than the Zebra G. You will do bad things, trust me. So, let's unscrew the back of it. I'm just gonna take the ink cartridge off, put that aside. You will need some paper towel because otherwise there will be ink everywhere. So, some paper towel, just in case. We need to take the nib and the feed out of the pen. So, let's try. I usually put the barrel back on it, just so that there's something to hold on to. And I'll try and Zoom in a bit. First thing I want to do is try and just pull the nib out by hand and see if it happens. Yes. So, that's that. That's the nib and the feed. Now, Sometimes, yes, I do use pliers. Never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> put your pliers onto the feed because you will damage it. No, you will damage it. At least put something around that before you put the pliers on there. Always put padding on it. So, there's the nib, and there's the feed. Now, here is the Zebra G nib. These two nibs are the exact same size, so I can easily put the Zebra G in place of this nib. Not a problem. What you might find 
when you put the two together is when you put the zebra G behind the feed if you hold the two together and hopefully you can see where the two meet here where the plastic feed meets the nib there should be no space literally you should not be able to slide a piece of paper in there so if you find that the feed maybe there's a gap or you're just the you bend need to bend the feed somehow the easiest way to do it is to put it in boiling water and then hold it against the, the nib and then push it slightly with your finger and hold it and then let it cool down and that should bend it a little if it doesn't do it again try it again yeah you may, may need to do it two or three times but in the end it will work honest so we've got the feed we've got the nib all we need to do now is jam them back in here but beware don't know if it will show up I'll try and get it to focus on there Oops. Uh, I don't know if it will show up and yeah that might catch it there's a little bit at the bottom of there which is a horizontal line so there's only one way that the feed will fit in there do not jam it in any other way because that will be bad very very bad so let's take said nib and feed let's line things up to get them to fit nicely which they never seem to fit nicely for me jam it in as best I can that should do the trick again just check that there's no gap between the feed and the nib should be good Let me just put the ink back in there and then just to kind of force some ink through I will gently turn it and I mean gently because if you turn it too much the ink will just come spraying out the other end and that will be bad again very bad That's the ink starting to come out now. So, let's see. The one thing you have to remember with this nib compared to others is that you need to go nice and slow. And I have a terrible habit of writing fast. And after much fiddling around with the nib and so on, you will actually get a decent writing pen. So, we went from having this nib, we can have a nib that will then write like this. Oops. Again, me going too fast. So you can end up with a pen 
that is a flexi nib fountain pen full of awesomeness. <laughs>